Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Emergency management is regulated by BLEC. So you're wondering who regulates emergency management? Well, it's a complex system involving multiple levels of government and various agencies. At the federal level, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, plays a significant role. FEMA sets guidelines and policies for hazard mitigation planning, which is crucial for preparing for and responding to disasters. For instance, the Disaster Mitigation Act of 2000 requires state, local, tribal, and territorial governments to have approved hazard mitigation plans to receive certain types of non-emergency disaster assistance. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, also have a hand in emergency management, particularly in the healthcare sector. They established the Emergency Preparedness Rule, which requires healthcare providers and suppliers to have comprehensive emergency preparedness plans in place. This includes having emergency preparedness regulations, communication plans, policies and procedures, as well as conducting regular training and exercises, too. State governments are also heavily involved. For example, the New York State Office of Emergency Management, OEM, coordinates the activities of all state agencies to protect communities from natural and human-caused disasters. They have various programs, including the New York State Watch Center, the State Emergency Operations Center, and the Logistics and Field Operations sections, all of which work together to ensure preparedness, response, and recovery activities, one. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, regulates emergency management related to environmental hazards. They enforce laws like the Clean Air Act and the Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act, epc -Ray, which require facilities to report the storage, use, and release of hazardous chemicals and to have plans in place for preventing and responding to chemical accidents and oil spills. The Joint Commission, which accredits healthcare organizations, also has emergency management standards. These standards help organizations prepare for all hazard emergencies through a continuous cycle of planning, organizing, training, equipping, exercising, evaluating, and taking corrective action. So to sum it up, emergency management is regulated by a combination of federal agencies like FEMA and CMS, state offices like New York State OEM, and other regulatory bodies such as the EPA and the Joint Commission. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.